Welcome to today's video. We're back at Ebisu Circuit and we're about to start drifting the chaser with that brand new R154 transmission. Unfortunately, the weather is quite wet today though, um, but it's not gonna stop me from having a good time and getting a bunch of seat times. You guys know I call wet days double XP days because you get to get double the amount of seat time, in my opinion. Um, but I'm gonna sort out some wheels and tires for the car and get that all situated, and then we're gonna go catch up with a friend. We got Mr. Oaks here all the way from Connecticut <laughs> helping out. He's the master at this stuff with Link and uh, he's given me a few lessons here, get things dialed in with the 1J. As you guys know, he's got a really cool, uh, very similar setup with the 3071R. Yeah, we're gonna get this dialed and pick it up after that. too much of us doing pulls and things like that with uh, Jimmy for the tune just because I wanted to get it done as quickly as possible obviously the time difference and stuff he was up late at night helping me out and uh, everything's really dialed we got a whole bunch of stuff tidied up that I was struggling with with just like the like Jay-Z's and that kind of stuff like I don't know anything about setting them up like how to calibr calibrate um, the VVTI solenoid and all that kind of stuff so it was really really cool and now the, the the car through the rev range feels so much smoother and better it's actually really good so I I just want to say a massive thank you to Jimmy Oaks. If you guys aren't subscribed to his channel, make sure you do. Link is down in the description. He is an absolute mad lad. And I hope when these borders finally open, hopefully they do soon, I cannot wait till he can come here and we can show him a good time. It's going to be fun and uh, keep an eye out for cool content together in the future. But anyways, guys, let's get into some driving. It's wet. Let's just have some fun. Back where we blew up the transmission at Nishi and let's just get a whole bunch of seat time and have some fun. you guys from the future to tell you about our new merch drop coming this Friday the 9th at 7 p.m. EDT for those of you in the USA. I'm sure you guys can all work out the different time zone differences, especially if you follow me on Instagram. On my stories, I put the little reminder countdowns uh, a couple days before everything goes live, so you can just add the reminder and not miss out. Or you can go to the website, sign up to the mailing list, and make sure you get an email the moment that stuff goes live and you don't miss out as well. But anyways, that aside, amazing drop coming. We've got brand new shirts, spring, summer themed ones, full graphic on the back. They look incredible. And I brought back some classics that you guys are gonna love. I did a limited run of the Ichigo Zoku shirts. Tons of you guys were emailing, asking for me to bring these back. I did, and then for all of you guys emailing because it is now winter in Australia and the UK and everywhere else in the world that's not the USA or Japan, I've got you covered. I brought the original classic hoodies back. These always sell out like in the first 10 minutes, so don't sleep on this stuff, guys. And grab yourself some merch. I love seeing you guys repping it and tagging me in your Insta stories and stuff like that for me to share. It feels so good to see you guys wearing the stuff that I create as well, guys. We are also giving away a Nardi 330mm classic to a random person who orders in the first 24 hours when all this stuff goes live. This is a secondhand one. You guys probably saw me get this at an Up Garage video. It does have some blemishes and stuff like that, but it's perfect for a drift car or a collectible on the wall, whichever you choose. That value of these wheels are still like $400 though in that condition, which is mind blowing to me. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoy. Let's get back to the video. Don't forget, semit.net on Friday, 7 p.m. EDT, USA. Let's do some Minami now. It's wet. That's what that means.
a quick break in the Minami pits and uh, I was just looking at the track and I noticed that this is what I was talking about when I said it felt really slippery. There's literally like a river of water flowing down Minami. <laughs> so that's probably why it felt like it had absolutely no grip. And it seems like it all like pools up down there. I guess it makes sense because it's all like a hill going down, right? But otherwise, Chaser feels great. And I can get out there and do some more driving in a bit. It's only a little bit of fog left. I need to get some of that like anti-fog spray and just put it on my windshield for just times like this. Or just keep it in the glove box at all times. But no, um, no ASMR coffee time today enjoying a real gold which is kind of like japan's barocca it's just like a energy drink but instead of like really weird synthetic chemicals and stuff it's just all vitamins so it's really good for you I'm just enjoying today surprisingly like it's wet and it's cold but it's still like a really nice day to be honest new friends in the Minami pits and uh, we'll look at this car in a second but this one is really really cool this is Kai-san's car he's currently in the process of changing tires hi hi <laughs> and uh, he's got a really nice we've seen this turbo kit before on uh, a few cars now this is the new HKS GT3 turbo kit and uh, all normal engine with HK step on cams He's running about 1.2 bar of boost on low, and then he has a high boost setting of 1.5. And uh, he doesn't really run at all at 1.5 just because he's scared he's gonna blow his stock internals, which is a good thing. <laughs> so he always runs at like 1.2, which is about where I was running my stock engine at. So that'll give him about 460 horsepower, which is amazing. For this nice yellow Koki S14, I think it's pretty cool. This is a nice setup. Hey. You should all skydiving. Hub with that Yes. Ooh. So, Skyline rear knuckles and hubs. So he's got the um, the drum side brake. That's really cool. Drum side. Hmm. So drum side brake. Side. This one. In there. Very cool. It's got a little bit of a sticker bomb. And I haven't seen this for a while. This was really cool and hipping in when I was like just getting into cars in the early 2000s. It's cool. And then. Uh, that kind of sums it up, but let's go have a look at this one. So this is a female, uh, female owner car. Kyo debut this year, ne? Debut. Oh no, one more name is Chitamu. 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 So, just a little bit of a name, please tell us. She's just new to cars, so she's gonna do her best. But is it normal to this car? So it does have a little bit of a boost up. It's got a stock computer that's been ROMed and chipped and tuned. It's very cool. Drift, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. So it gets me so excited when people get into drifting for the first time and I took her for a few passenger laps and stuff like that with everyone else and she loved it so it's good to kind of like get them inspired and ticking off goals and setting dreams and stuff like that. It's good to still see new people getting into drifting. And the inside looks pretty straightforward, work spell quick release, some cool little like uh, Brit or Bride um, interior mods which is nice to see. Before I knew it, it was already four o'clock. I was just talking with my new friends and taking them out for passenger laps and stuff and having a really good time. And uh, track's closed. So heading back to the hotel and we'll pick this up tomorrow. Hopefully the weather's a bit better, but man, I'm so happy. I ran Minami so many times today, felt good.
It's the next day and check this out guys. Prayers literally answered. Beautiful summer's day, no rain in sight. And it's actually like kind of a miracle because yesterday I checked the weather before going to bed. It said all day, every day for the rest of this week, nonstop rain. Woke up this morning, couldn't hear any rain outside. Checked the weather app, said summer, uh, sorry, sunny day all day today. And then tomorrow back to full on rain for the rest of the week. So. This is absolutely amazing. I am hyped. We get to shred the tracer all day today. And the best thing as well is we kind of have our own private day today. So Wednesdays at the moment at Ebisu are closed to the public. But Kuma Kubasan, who is the owner of Ebisu, is a super nice guy. I can't thank him enough, but uh, he always makes sure that if I'm here on a Wednesday, I get to drive North Course all to myself. And can you guys smell that? You smell that? It smells like massive backwards entries. Hmm. Let's get out there and have some fun. in the process of changing tires right now and someone rocked up that I was not expecting, the previous owner of the Chaser. This is Ricky. Bro, <laughs> bro, bro, when you sold the car, the, the rear end was like all the way in here, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I came and looked at the car and I was like, what, what do you have to do? It looks clean as <laughs> I'll beep it out, it's fine. <laughs> but it looks clean and jeez, I can still see some memories I had here. Yeah, so it's pretty amazing, and um, I'm glad that you like it. And you having fun with the car. It's not a garbage car that somebody could crash it and just throw away. It's really clean. It must feel pretty weird, like uh, you know, you sold the car, and then all of a sudden you just start seeing it everywhere on YouTube and Instagram, everywhere right? Everywhere on YouTube, and then the, the some circuits you go, my friends are there, and they keep sending me pictures. Hey, where are you? Where are you? And it's not my car anymore. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I'm happy you're having fun and that's it. That's it, man. I'm so like it's so funny. Like I did not expect to run into you today. So he uh, he was at Fusto shop and Fusto yeah. told him I was up here driving. So he came so up I to have a look. To watch it. But one thing we will do, we will gonna be tandem soon. Yep. Once my car is done and yep. we're gonna be hanging out. Let's see. How will be the two cars? Will be nice. It'll be fun. Yeah. It'll be fun. What power level are you aiming for in yours though? Six. Oh man, that, that's not gonna be, you're gonna be, I, I'm gonna have to lead in your chase. <laughs> no, but uh, it's not about power if you don't know how to use it, so. Okay, well, we'll put you on like 215s or something. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna change tires and get back out to shredding. We're gonna go show Ricky what his old car can do now. <laughs> Let's go, Chaser.
am exhausted and done for today. Plus, I got to drive all the way back home to Yokohama, so leaving a little bit early ain't gonna hurt me. Ricky, what do you think? Did your old car do well? Uh, I'm glad you take care of the car. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've crashed it two times as well. Uh, but cr crash is part of it. Part of drifting, right? Part of drifting. Who doesn't? <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Thank you for helping me out, bro. Appreciate it. Awesome. Starting the journey back home. It's going to be about a four hour drive today, depending on traffic. Hopefully uh, not too bad. But uh, another successful day, all done and dusted, practicing, getting a bunch of seat time at MVC. Never gets old, and I'm sure we'll be back real soon. It is the next day now guys, and I'm sure you can all understand, massive day driving and then driving home for four hours really made me exhausted. So I put the camera down and just relaxed. And uh, the funny thing is, is uh, uh, it seems like now May wants to go back to EBC this weekend. So we're probably gonna be there again, making more content, uh, but together, which will be really fun because I don't think she's seen me, she's been in the passenger seat of me driving in a very, very long time. So there's been a pretty big like bump in improvement and uh, speed and craziness in my driving. So I think she's gonna get a good kick out of it. And I think you guys will too, to see her reaction, which would be cool. As long as the weather they can hold together. As long as that ha miracle happens again, we'll be good. It's not looking good. Um, but anyway, still, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It felt so weird, uh, like, going through the footage, and I think this video is gonna look really, really cool. Um, it kind of reminds me of, like, a set of Corsa and, like, controlling the weather, because day one was wet and crazy, and then perfect sun. It's just... But anyways, guys, smash the like button, write a comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. I feel incredible. It's mind-blowing to me how quickly the channel is growing and just how much my life has changed because of you guys. You guys are literally like my team, and um, I would not be able to achieve what I'm doing today, and I'm getting emotional. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Ciao,